Hi friends, my name is Sherry Masur, and I work at General Motors Tonawanda Engine Plant. And it's time for a story about trucks. What's go cool about that? Well, at the Tonawanda Engine Plant, we make the engines that go in trucks, so we make them go. But first I wanted to tell you something that this virtual story time is brought to you by Explore and More, the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Children's Museum for fun learning activities to do at home. Check out our sanity savers at www.exploreandmore.org. And now, we're going to talk about a super truck. This book is written by Stephen Savage, too. The city is full of brave trucks. Look at them all, all over the street. The bucket truck fixes power lines. See, someone would go up in that bucket and reach up those lines and fix them. That's pretty cool. The fire truck puts out blazes. Those are important trucks to have in any community. The tow truck rescues a bus. Yep, sometimes even buses break down and they need help. The garbage truck, he just collects the trash. One evening, it starts snowing. We know what that's about, don't we? It snows and snows and snows. I bet the schools are going to be closed. That's what happens when it snows a lot. The city is caught in a terrible blizzard. Look at, even the trucks look sad. Just then, the garbage truck sneaks into the garage and becomes super truck. He digs out the west side, he digs out the east side, he digs out the whole city. Hooray for super truck! The next morning, the trucks wonder about the mighty truck who saved them. Who could he be? He's just collecting the trash. Yep, that's our super truck. Well, you know, that's a pretty important thing. Garbage truck didn't let on that he was the helper. But he helped. And you know, everyone just thought garbage truck was just the truck that goes around once a week and picks up everybody's garbage. But he had a secret. He had superpowers. Sometimes we all have our superpowers that we don't let on to anyone. We keep them to ourselves and we pull them out just when somebody needs help. And that's an okay secret to keep because sometimes you just want to surprise somebody and treat them as something special and show them that you're, you're worthy of superpowers and you're going to help them. And you're not going to make a big deal about it. You're not going to brag about it. You're not going to tell the world that you did something special to help somebody. You're just going to help somebody because that makes you feel good. Mr. Rogers, I used to love watching Mr. Rogers when I was a kid. He used to say that when you're scared and you're in trouble, you look for the helpers. The helpers are going to be the ones who are going to step up and help you get through whatever you need to get through. And our friend Mr. Garbage Truck didn't make a big deal about being a super truck and pulling out all those other trucks out of the snow or helping move all that snow around so everyone could go back to school and back to work and enjoy snow. He just did it quietly, humbly, and kind of happy that he was going to help somebody. Because sometimes, you know, you just think you're looking at a garbage truck, but you're really looking at something very, very special. And that's another important thing for us to remember that you can't always judge something by how they look. Sometimes they've got those special superpowers that they're keeping to themselves and you just have to work with them and learn about them and get to know them and then you'll figure it out. So friends, I hope you're ready for sleep now because this is our virtual story time and it's brought to you by Explore and More, the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Children's Museum for fun learning activities at home. Check out our sanity savers at www.exploreandmore.org. And guess what? We're going to get to visit the museum again really soon. 
Thanks so much, friends. Good night.